What's good everybody, it's H back on another 12 Hub TV video and today we're looking at a retro kick that I never heard of until it retroed and that would be the Air Tuned. Very sought after sneakerhead colorway type of thing so a lot of people were hyped up over it, it sold out instantly and I was lucky enough to get a pair. So yeah, I'm just going to take a look at it with y'all today and you tell me what you think. It's one of those silhouettes that I really liked because I like different stuff so let's go right into it. So yeah, Air Tuned comes in the classic Nike box, all right? And I mentioned this in another video, but Goat's been putting little stickers on things now, which is cool. So basic Nike box, nothing special, nothing, no special retro or different black box or anything like that. Average paper, and I'm gonna show you all that. And this shoe. <laughs> so this shoe, to me, is reminiscent of Air Max Plus or Air Max 97, 95, 96, and all that stuff. Uh, and it's just a more sleek, it's, it's, it's a more, no, actually more rigid design, right? They call this one the celery charcoal colorway because it's got those elements in here. It's got like a, the, the air bubbles, got some green hints in there, like celery up here around the ankle that that and it's all this nice gradient so when the light hits it it kind of kind of makes this rippling effect like the colors changing as you go around the shoe I don't know if you can notice that but it hits like green and then gold and then green and then gold again and same around the back and on the back if you can see that it's got these little dots under the check mark which is in green Nike check under here. Nice tr traction pattern. Very stiff shoe, by the way. Materials are quality though. Um, old school mesh here. This this caging right here. So I can see where Kanye got a little inspiration for his 700 V3s. I can see that as I look at this shoe. So this this caging right here. So just caught that out here while I'm looking at this shoe. The insole, very unique got like these infinity type of like it's just cool kind of you kind of get lost in that if you can kind of if you can see that you know. so yeah it's like an infinite oh that's cool it kind of dips down so look at that it's like, it, it shows it, it looks like a step almost like going into infinity then down down the rabbit hole look at that look at that that's crazy i don't know if you can see that but yeah it's dope very dope Whew. Now this honestly is one of those shoes that uh, people will probably sleep on. I mean the resale was not crazy on it. I I actually had to get these resale because I did not get it on the Nike sneakers app, which is fine. You know you can't win everything, and I don't mind paying resale for a shoe like this because it's actually a shoe I'd wear. You know if I get a Jordan, and I if I don't if I strike out on a Jordan or something like that, I'm like whatever. And then you know if I get it, then I do a video and I flip it. But these, whew, man, no, these are going straight to the feet. I got a fit for this already. So if you look at the Air Max Pluses and this, they're sort of in the same family because it has that tuned air. This actually just carries that name. So you look at the sole, the bottom, the, the bottom part is a TN, so that's tuned. You'll see that on the Air Max Plus too. I own no Air Max Pluses. I see them at the outlets all the time. I think I'm going to cop a pair sooner or later. But these um, overall are... A little bit better in my opinion. I don't know why they don't retro more of these. And this colorway is great. Like it's a, mm, just the way that green hits right there. Like in the, in the light, and we're in a dim light right here. But look at the way that gradient, that, that color just kind of switches as you move. So it goes like yellow, green. It got was a purple, gold, green, all as you move the shoe along in the light. That's hot. Now. Uh, from a fit standpoint, I don't talk about fit until I actually wear the shoe. This looks like it's going to be a little snug. So um, I almost want to say just go half a size up just to be safe. It's got very heavy padding. The toe box comes to a point. So if you're familiar with the way Air Maxes are shaped, 
It's a little stiff up in the front and always comes to a point. At least the 97s do. So do the 95s. I'm assuming the 96s, even though I don't own a pair of those. But these would um, definitely go a size up if uh, you can. I got my true to size just because I can squeeze into this. It has a lot of lace here. Uh, and I don't mind that as much. And it's cheaper to get my true to size 12. I get the 12, I get the 12 and a half. It's all, it's all crazy. So, yeah, man, this shoe is just one of those shoes that I'm happy to say is in my collection now. I will wear this proudly. Thank you, Nike, for hooking it up. I paid a little over retail, not too much over. I paid $197 on a shoe that's retailed for $170. So $27 more plus shipping and stuff. So all in. About 220, which isn't too bad. I'm not gonna sell it, but at the end of the day, I paid more for shoes that I actually wear, like my $450 rubber dunks, which I kind of regret buying. But it is what it is. So, like, subscribe, tell me what you think of the shoe. Air Max tuned or air tuned, <laughs> and yeah. Check out the podcast. Check out all the clips. Follow me on TikTok. I'm a TikToker now. And that's it, man. Check you on the next one. Peace. I think here's the thing, like man, I I, I think we we'll, we all know that there's a market for anything, man. Yeah, I know. There's a Anybody's for it, willing man. to listen to anything because there's a lot of people out there that want to be in that sneakerhead community that just mm -hmm. can't afford to. Um, and I have this conversation a lot of times with my with my boys, and it was just like most sneakerheads are usually older cats. Why? Yeah. Because it's expensive to be in this game, and it's just, it is not but, a cheap hobby. What are we picking up? That's why they retro shoes, because we're picking up the joints we couldn't afford when we was kids. <laughs> that too. Like, I, I mean, I've yeah. had a couple of them, but I didn't have nearly as many as I have now, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, it, it, but that's the point. Like, you couldn't get it then. Adults can get it. Uh, you know, rich people can get it. Your mom might get you a pair for Easter or you get right. get one for the hooping season or, or school, whatever. But that was it. Like, these kids want it now and they're willing to pay for it. But, like, fake shoe, they'll get all oh, $150. Yeah, it's nothing, right? I'll get a fake, fake pair of Yeezys for $150 and, and call it a day. Like, no, don't do that to me. Or don't do that to the culture. Don't do that said to me. It, it, it hurts me personally when I hear somebody talk about some fake shit. Because I remember back in the day with um, fake polo and all that stuff. And you, know, I know I could pull, I could, you know, use like like Beverly Hills Polo Club, like that type of shit. Like I, I remember, I remember like cats trying to pass it off, right? And it's funny, and I used to call them out like cats from DC. They used to go to Penn State and stuff. Um, but it. Yeah, that stuff always bugged me, man. Like how you, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. It, it, it 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 bothers me personally. I know you just sitting there like it is what it is, but yeah, that's kind of what I was like, man. There's a market for everybody, for every reason, for every purpose. You know, some people will buy fake stuff and be like, man, I got like super fakes, and you'll never be able to tell the difference unless you compare them. And there's some super.